Dustin Huggins from Arkansas Tech. Uh, we, we caught quite a few early. Still trying to get one more kicker fish. We got about 16 pounds, roughly 15, 16. Trying to get one more good one. We got one we need to call from Arkansas Tech University, and so far it's been going pretty good. Uh, our smallest fish is about two and a half pounds, and we think we got somewhere around 16. So we're hoping if we can get one more quality fish, we can push it up around that. 17, 18 at least. My name is Walker Smith and I'm from Georgia College. I'm Zach Olson, I'm from Georgia College. And uh, I'm trying a lot of different things today. Um, we caught our first fish this morning on the frog. Uh, they were hanging to that isolated brush pretty well. He was getting a lot of blow ups on the frog. And, uh, but they just weren't committing to it. I think it's that high pressure that came in with the bluebird skies. I can grab my legs. Grab the legs of the frog, and but uh, he caught one on that, and then I caught some short fish on a yum dinger, wacky rig, and now I just put a five in the boat, um, flipping a, or skipping a piece of isolated brush with this little wacky rig yum dinger. Post front days, that's the best bait I know to use. I'm Zach Olson from Georgia College here in Texas. This is my third year. Uh, he's been. I mean, we've had a pretty decent practice, not a lot of fish caught, you know, found some really good areas, a lot of bait, a lot of good activity. And this, you know, this front's coming in, it's kind of throwing a wrench in our plan a little bit. We've been around fish all day, catching them, just been kind of short. We've been trying to kind of scramble a little bit and find some bigger size. I don't know what I need here in a second. I'm just pecking at it. Yeah, we've, I, can't, I went through an entire pack of uh, Carolina rig baits without hooking a single fish, which was getting very aggravating. Just come back with half a bait all the time. There's, you know, you just fish it dead slow. I just, you know, drive it up on a stump or a rock and just let it sit for like 30 seconds. They just, you know, get weightless, or get mushy. I set the hook and come back with half a worm. That gets a little old after a while. But uh, just you gotta keep adapting. You know, we keep, keep moving, keep trying to, you know, alter our presentation. You know, find out what they want. Just fine tune things. If they're hitting that frog this morning, it's a short, you know, they weren't really putting the black one short into a white one. You know, short or legs. They, didn't really commit to that either, so we decided on some wacky rigs. Um, yeah, we didn't really commit to that except for that one over there. We bit a couple of those in half. And just kind of keep it to that, fine tune, just find a pattern. It seems to be looking a little brighter. Got an hour or so left, but you know, three more in the boat. We're sitting pretty good. These post frontal days that afternoon bites key. A lot of guys give up and are mentally defeated by the time the bite kicks on. So that's just pretty much what you gotta do, just stick in there. Like, Mike Canelli always says, never give up.